Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you're all having a beautiful day. So today I've come up with another pick a card reading just before I begin my actual reading for the day. So this is going to be a pick a card reading for uh, the question what is his or her deepest desires towards me. So these uh, deep dark desires can be even a very very dark. So stay tuned to find out your person's deep deep dark desires when it comes to your situation what are they thinking about you and what is there even though you are separated uh, right now you are in a separation state from your person it's always good to know how they feel about you and their deepest darkest desires when it comes to with you so yes guys we have three piles here as you can see the pile number one with this um, doll with this glass doll it is ceramic this ceramic doll with um, drum for pile number one you can choose this doll pile number two we have this ceramic doll with a violin and for pile number three we have this um, ceramic doll again which who is a singer so you can choose whatever doll you are feeling connected to or you can choose any pile that you feel drawn to. Please meditate for about 1 minute or you can meditate for about 10 minutes, 5 minutes, however you want um, and choose the pile accordingly. So now I will be starting off with the pile number 1, pile 2 and 3. Please wait guys. Or you can even fast forward to your reading. Someone please give the uh, timestamps in the description. I mean in the comments or I will be giving it in the description. You can check that and fast forward to your reading or the timestamps will be appearing here on the screen and you can check it out or you can fast forward to the timestamps accordingly. Okay, so now I'll be starting off the pile number one. Okay, so we have the pile number one now. For those of you who chose the ceramic doll with a drum, this is the answer for your question. How, what is his or her deepest desires when it comes to me? What are they thinking about me? What is his or her deepest desires? The first card we have no. Okay, so this person hasn't thought of the relationship that way. Maybe they feel that this connection with you is much deeper than just a physical attraction. Okay, the, it doesn't mean this person doesn't have dreams with you. They don't love you. Yes, they do love you a lot. But I can see here that this relationship is much more than just a physical connection that is the main reason why we have the no card here wow this is deep this relationship is very deep you're dealing with deep shit okay because this person does love you too much to even like think of this relationship like that okay but yes they do have deepest desires with them and Yes, the person whom you're thinking about can even be your friend or it can be one of your family members. It it seems a little bit inappropriate for this person to think that they um, have to have a beautiful relationship with you. Or I don't know, guys, it can be a little bit inappropriate for this person to think this way about you. Uh, or this, this person can be your best friend's boyfriend or someone who feels like this is inappropriate, these thoughts or these feelings they have on you is very inappropriate for them or they might feel a certain way, okay? So that is what I'm getting here with this card. This person just feels like it is something inappropriate and they feel they shouldn't do this with you or they shouldn't uh, have these desires. Yes, they do have these desires, but they feel this is inappropriate to have. And again, with the, they're thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot when it comes to your relationship with them. I mean, they're spending days and nights, they're having sleepless nights thinking about you. Wow. This person's also finding out stuff about you. 
in a sense they're going on doing their research finding out if you are the one for them uh, maybe the finding out where you're born or like what you're doing from the mutual friends or i can see a lot of research going on with this person they want to know you that is how this relationship is okay and they don't know why they have these desires about you but it's just popped up and they don't know what to do about it right now okay so anyways i will be picking out some more cards we have the scara spiritual transformation again i can say here that this person feels like your relationship should be something more than just something that ha is having desire and having some kind of a physical connection i know a best spiritual relationship is when you have a spiritual psychological and a physical connection with the same person in a equal level but this person is not feeling like this relationship should progress in this desire desire state it should progress in some kind of a spiritual and a emotional connection more than a physical connection but i can see here that they're having all of these thoughts all of these feelings that is just overpowering this relationship that you share together with this person guys okay and i can also see here with the fertility and satisfaction they just want this kind of a satisfaction with you they want to have kids with you they do have a lot of dreams which is again affecting their desire part okay they feel like if they focus on being very intimate with you or something like that they wouldn't focus on the actual life in a sense they wouldn't focus on your future together traveling together and they're scared that they would get addicted to you that is another thing why this person is not um, willing to accept it okay and i can also see here with the initiation this person ha does have a lot of work maybe they can be someone who is very work related and if they uh, dream a lot uh, with you or if they think a lot about you they're scared that they would get addicted to you and that is really hard for this person to uh, go through which can also lead to all of these confusions okay so that is all i can say here for today's reading and yes guys i know this uh, reading hasn't turned out of desire desire type but yes this is how this person actually feels i'll see you all tomorrow guys bye so for those of you who chose the pile number two what is his or her deepest desires those of you who chose the doll with the violin what is coming up we have meditation brings answers this person is really thinking about you a lot i mean whenever they close their eyes you are coming in their heads and i see here that this person you need to meditate for a while and think about what this person likes and your answers will get to you on by itself so we have nile river soul healing and rest endings so i can see here that this person and you are in a mostly a separation state if you chose in the pile number two so i see that this person has a lot of deep desires for you especially they love the way your um body shape is or they love the way about your body okay so they like the way it is shaped and i can also see here that this person admires the way that you take care of it maybe you always go to gym and you take care of it or i can see here that you are eating healthy food or something or do you use a lot of creams or you try to keep it natural you don't use chemical beauty products or you don't use anything that is chemical okay that is uh, done with chemicals so this person loves the way you take care of yourselves in a very natural way or they love the way that you take care of yourselves i can also see here that this person feels like there is some kind of an inner glow with you that is beautiful they just love the way you dress up they love the way you carry yourselves and i can see here that that the deepest darkest desire this person has is to 
obviously like learn how you are learn each and everything about you each and everything each and every curve of your uh view like this person really wants to find that inner essence within you guys okay that is that deepest darkest secret because they might not express how they actually feel and what are they thinking and everything which makes it a secret but and also they might like tease you for the way you look but deep down inside this person is just dying to know you dying to know your body or dying to know your essence okay so that is what i can feel with this card this person definitely is wanting to uh, make things move with you make things beautiful with you okay say so they are wanting to be romantic with you that is also what i can see here there is a lot of romantic uh, deep uh, secrets desires that this person has that they will probably not express to you but then you should know that they have we have a mountain here a sickle here and an owl here so they know that if they give you some kind of a hint they feel you would make it awkward or it would get awkward or they just feel like they should keep it within themselves because they don't want to make things awkward okay but generally this person is having too much desire for you that is really un unbearable at times okay they cannot bear how much they want to hold you they cannot bear that deepest desires uh, sometimes they feel like they have to tell to you because they cannot cultivate it it's just too much you know like when you cultivate the crops and when you put it inside a bag and then like the bag is overflowing with wheat and then you don't know where to keep it so that's how this person are you or oh, you keep it in a barn and then it's all barn is overflowing or the place where you keep it the storage place is overflowing and you don't know what to do with it so that is how this person is feeling i mean this person has a lot and lot and lot of secrets or desires that they're hiding from you and they don't know what to do about all of that now so maybe they will make an effort so then <laughs> they feel like if they express it to you you might think bad of them you might feel really uh different or they feel like you would avoid them if they express their uh, deepest desires or secrets to you and therefore they are hiding it okay for those of you who chose the pile number two this is what i can see here wow well wow. those of you who chose this pile or those of you who chose this doll definitely this person is having too much desire for you that it is unbearable for them guys wow i don't know how to explain this is just too much the energy is too heavy for me to explain it i hope you understand guys okay so now i'll be moving on to the pile number three okay so those of you who chose the pile number three what is coming up for you guys let us find out so we have don't stop card we have the siberian star I can see here that this person doesn't want to stop having this beautiful intimacy or that intimate situation with you. I can also see here that this person is very much drawn to you physically. This relationship is more of a physical connection than an emotional one. That is for sure. And you both unlock each other's mysterious sides. I mean, when this person is with you, they just feel like they... You have unlocked what shouldn't be unlocked. I mean, they are having too much thoughts that is unable to express, that they're feeling unable to express when they're with you. But then when you're far away from each other, it is all clear. But when they get near you, it just, the energy becomes intense. You know what I'm talking about, right? So again, what I can see here is that with the fish card, this person definitely is not emotionally connected to you i can see that uh, this relationship cannot obviously for those of you who shows the third pile your relationship is not sure 
I mean, like, this can be, you can be dealing with someone who keeps on cheating and moving on from one person to another. Uh, you can be dealing with someone who is not really sure about one person and stays with one person forever, okay? So this is not a sure relationship in a sense. You don't know if this relationship will lead to a marriage or it will re- it will lead to something much more than a physical connection at least, okay? It's not even like a friendship turned into love. It is something that is dry, But there is a lot of intimacy, a lot of connection. And I can see that this relationship is going to progress with just intimacy in it. And I can also see here that this person cannot be without you because they don't want anybody else, only you. But they're still not sure if this is the connection. I don't know how to explain this, guys, but... I can see that there is a lot going on in this person's mind when it comes to your energies. They don't know if they have to leave you. They don't know if they have to stay with you. They don't know if they have to do it, uh, do both the things with you. It's all just so confusing for this person, okay? Again, I can see that with the lock and key, you unlock certain mysterious aspects about this person. Are you just like, they just feel free with you, like, They have never been so free and so happy. Uh, What to say, guys? They just are without limits when it comes to you. And they've never been that way with anybody else, which makes them look forward in life with you. And they just want to do things only with you because obviously they do love you and they do care for you. So that is the energy here, guys. And yes, joy and pleasure. They just feel so pleasurable and happy when they're around you and they have I think like they've expressed their deepest desires with you okay so maybe like when you're together they've told you or they've like expressed uh, these desires to you so obviously you know but anyways for uh, just clarifying the situation you're watching this reading maybe so please comment down below guys if you like this reading and thank you all so much for joining me here see you all tomorrow bye or continue with your daily reading Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my beautiful Taurus. So this is going to be a really reading, guys, for your general and love energies, Taurus daily reading for your general energies, for your love energies. Okay, so for your general energies, we have the clock. So you're being very time conscious. I mean, you know that time heals everything now and you have a strong faith in time. You just believe that time is the absolute thing in the universe. So you're giving more importance to time. You're not wasting time anymore. You're giving a lot of importance to time. You know what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I mean, you've had a lot of lessons in your life lately, which is making you understand life itself. And I can see that, Taurus, you've learned from your experience and you do not want to repeat the mistakes that you've made earlier because obviously you face the karma for the uh, mistakes that you did earlier and therefore you don't want that to happen anymore for you guys. I also see here with the lady here, lady card here, that today will be a day that someone is... a seeing you from a far distance someone is like looking at you uh thinking oh my god how handsome he is or how beautiful she is okay so someone is like thinking about you from a far distance uh talking about you thinking about you because they really don't know what's wrong they really want to find out stuff about you and Betty is just so sweet guys He's just so, so sweet today. I don't know what's happening. I'm just giving him a lot of kisses and cuddles. You know, he's not well because he's coughing a lot and he's sneezing a lot. It's not like coughing, but he's sneezing a lot due to like climatic changes and everything. So I'm just keeping him very 
safe. Like wherever I go, he comes behind me, he flies behind me, and he's just sitting on my shoulders now. Okay, so I can also see that someone will be proposing to you or this person is wanting something deep with you guys. Okay, so yes guys, thank you all so much for joining me here. My beautiful, beautiful Taurus. See you all tomorrow, Taurus. Bye guys. I just don't want him to spill it here. Then I have to pick it up. So, thank you all guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.